right across the Fraser Coast, we're really fortunate to have heritage buildings that tell the story of our region. I'm here at the home of George, Gale and Jazzy uh, here on, on Kent Street. And they, it's a very historic building, isn't it, George? It certainly is. It goes back a long way to uh, when Stuparts and Kinney's were mm -hmm. the big players on the street. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, walk down the street and the, the front of the shops and the buildings is still that heritage look. And it's the whole street. Now, it's really a good thing. Yeah, and they, they tell the story of Maribor, the different department stores, mm -hmm. the people, the events. And um, with this historic building, you're doing some um, restoration work right now, aren't you? Well, we are. We, um, we, when, we, when you look next door, they still have the original casement wooden windows. Mm -hmm. And um, efficient as aluminium windows are, I would, we decided we'd replace them and, and, and bring the whole building back to the original look. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to do that mm -hmm. because we think it's going to look really nice. Mm -hmm. And have you been able to get uh, local trades people who can assist with that? We have. Uh, we've uh, we found the people out on um, uh, Alice Street, uh, White. I, was it, I forget their initials, but uh, they they go back a long way. The, the stuff they've done, the, the pictures they've shown me, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of heritage, they know exactly what they're doing. They've oh. done a wonderful job on those windows. That's right. Yeah, it'll really be good to see it brought back to its original Absolutely. style. And to do this, you've been able to access the council's heritage grants which we wouldn't have been able to do without the council's uh, help. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, when you make quality wooden windows like mm -hmm. that, it's very expensive. I mean, there's a lot of craftsmanship goes into that. So downstairs in this historic building is the wonderful store, the Push on Kent, uh, with a wide range of antiques and books. Um, Gail, what does it mean to you to utilize an historic space for the store? Well, it, for me, it, it's a beautiful place to work mm -hmm. and, and having wonderful old books in an old building it just seems right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, I guess it's it's part of, you know, celebrating Maribor as a unique place to be able to utilize these spaces. Absolutely. And I'd like to think that it would become a bit of a meeting place too mm. for people to come and search out books about Maribor and things about Maribor and about Australia generally mm. and, and all sorts of interesting books. Yeah. Mm. So as well on the wall here, you have a, you know, a fantastic art collection. Will you be showcasing local artists? Absolutely. We have um, two big paintings here at the moment by yeah. a local artist with mm. a third coming and we'll do a little introduction for her to the people of Maribor one evening with yeah, what you're doing here with the building and with the, with the store is really, really good for our communities. We want to get uh, the old buildings used, adaptively reused and used for their original purposes like this one yeah. with a store.